Okay, I was just showing you how to create the groupings. So what we want to do now um, is go back to go back to the year seven page. Okay, so now I'm going to set an assignment. I've already set this assignment for seven DT and seven AK. So if I turn the editing on, I could just duplicate this by clicking that icon. That's what I did with this one. Okay, but I'm going to set a different type of homework for them. So add an activity. The very first thing is called assignment. That's what we want. I'm going to set an assignment. Do okay. The description of the homework will go in here. That can display on the page if you want, but you don't need to. They if they click on it, they'll see it. Your deadlines are here. It gives an automatic deadline. If you're happy with that, leave it. Okay, but what we need to change is this down here. So we need separate groups. Okay, and I'm setting this for 7CS. Okay, and it's available only for them. So we need to make sure that we click those things. So let's go back. And we will see that they have been set this. Now the duplicate... Um, icon works like this. I'm just going to click it. Are you sure you want to do? Yes, I am. Okay, I could just return and it'd be exactly the same, but I actually want to change it a little bit. Okay, because I want to change it to a different class. I want to give this to 7AK as well. So save and return. And there we go, we've got another homework piece for them. Now, if we look at the calendar, which doesn't appear to be there, is it up here? Yes, it is. Okay, if we look at the calendar, we can see that all those homeworks have been set for that day. And individual, each class would, on their calendar will only see the homework for their grouping. So that is why it is important that we set we create those groups so we can set homeworks for them.